There is an electric car that I have made a video on in the past, in fact, a couple of videos on this car company, that is now for sale in Australia. I don't think anyone has heard of it, well, not until today, or yesterday maybe, at the electric car show in Australia. For 50,000 Australian dollars, or just over 30,000 US dollars, you can get a vehicle that is sized very similarly to a Tesla Model Y and has a very large 72 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's truly unbelievable value, or is it? Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. This new electric car, it's called the Skywell, or the Skyworth, depending on um, which name you use. Anyway, Skywell ET5. Bit of a naming rights contention there with Neo's ET5, but this was around before Neo's ET5 even existed. Anyhow, this is a really nice looking car. I had a look at it today at the car show in Sydney, which was quite an, a good experience. I just saw this vehicle and I went, hang on a minute, that's coming to Australia. And I spoke to the CEO of the company. He's um, very excited about this new vehicle, which you can now buy. It'll be delivered. First deliveries of this vehicle will be in October in Australia. Now, there's good and bad when it comes to this EV. I think mostly good, but there is um, something you need to know about it before you go and place down your money. Interior, fantastic. Really, really nice screen. It's got a nice big digital screen in the middle of the car, and then it's got a nice digital screen in front of the driver that's really well integrated into the dashboard. Kind of feels a little bit luxurious in my opinion. I sat in it. Hey guys, I'm just getting into the Skywell ET5. New car coming to Australia. You can order this now. Cheapest car in Australia in this size. 4.8 meters. So let's have a look at, let's have a look how, how big the actual interior is. See if I can fit in there. See how much space it's got. Oh, okay. So that's more space in the back seat than a BMW X5 in terms of my feet to the seat. And you can, that seat in front is definitely far, fairly far back. I didn't realize this roof, is this a panoramic? Is, is, is the car coming with this panoramic yes. roof? Yes. Wow. And you can, can you open, you can open this? Yep. Even has a sunshade, wow. It does have the sunshade and confirming. It makes it feel very airy in here. That is all the way back. Really nice, really nice seats. Feels like they're kind of made to fit your body, to hug your body. You don't slide around in them like you do in some cars that are made in China. Battery pack, 72 kilowatt hour pack, but there's three different battery pack options. This vehicle comes with a 72 kilowatt hour pack in the medium sized version. Then there's actually a much bigger pack. I think it's about 90 kilowatt hours and there's a much smaller pack, it's about 50 something kilowatt hours. So there'll be three different range options. The shortest range option has about 380 kilometers of range. This is on WLTP cycle. Mid, mid spec range has over 400 and the long range version will have more than 500 kilometers of range. It's definitely a vehicle you should consider considering the price of $50,000, which is amazing. By the way, you can place an order right now without putting down any money. Could be a good option if this is a car you're thinking about. But like I said, there is definitely an issue. It has been crash tested. It was crash tested in China last year and it received a one star rating. Now, this is pretty shocking. I don't think anyone expected this rating and it received a one star rating because it's more well, primarily for one reason, it's side impact. Side impact was terrible. The car basically, um, when it was hit, it was essentially destroyed, which is pretty shocking. Now that crash test was done, but this I believe is an upgraded version of that car. So I believe Skywell have gone back to the drawing board and gone, you know what, we're here. what are the problems? What do we have to fix? There's a good chance this has been fixed, but I don't know for sure. I don't think anyone yet knows if this car, how it will go with safety tests. And that's something you probably do want to know before you make a purchase of this magnitude. It's a lot of money, right? It's something I personally want to be know. I'd want to know for sure. I do suspect it's been changed and it's been upgraded to assess the problems that were faced in the crash testing, but I just can't confirm that yet. 
I'll make another video once this vehicle comes closer to launch to confirm whether or not those issues were fixed. I'm guessing they probably were. Now, you might have heard of this vehicle in, it's formerly called the Skyworth EV6. However, in Australia, I believe it'll be called the Skywell ET5. And interestingly, it's not just a Chinese vehicle because yes, it's made in China, but they're actually sold in North America, in Germany, in Turkey, and in a few other countries in Europe. In fact, they're sold in 40 different countries worldwide. So what's the size? Well, it's 4.7 meters long, 1.9 meters wide, and 1.7 meters tall. It sits on a 2.8 meter wheelbase motor. Okay, as far as I can tell, the power is 150 kilowatt, that's 204 horsepower. It's a front wheel driven vehicle and it has 320 newton meters of torque. So it's got the same power and torque as the BYD 803, but of course it's quite a lot bigger than a BYD 803 and a bit cheaper as well. Really interesting to see. It's gonna be a, a real compelling vehicle, I think at this price point. I think it could get a lot of people interested. And at the car show, I can tell you right now, a lot of people looking at this thing, even though in pictures it doesn't look particularly inspiring, it just looks okay. But at the car show, I've got to say, a lot of people thought it looked really good. They were stopping and looking at it. Heaps of people were just going, wow, and they wanted to sit in it. So there were people getting in the car and sitting in it, sitting in the back seat. And I sat in the back seat. I was shocked by how much room you have in the back seat of this vehicle. Heaps of room, massive. Even with the front seat in its furthest position to the back, someone tall in the front, someone tall someone tall in the back, there's heaps of knee room. I couldn't believe it. Way more room than what you find in, like, say, something like a BMW X5. Really good car. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Hey mate, how you doing? Good, good. I'm here with Jack, who has got two new EVs for Australia, which is, this is kind of a scoop, right? Because yeah. no one else has reported on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been doing it myself. And I think I'm the only person who's reported on Skywell electric cars. No, I think I ever made a video and I said they might come to Australia. I hope that they would. Yeah, Sorry from Sydney, but Rose, you. So my dreams have come true. Yes, yes. So we're introducing the new Skywell SUV. Uh, so earlier this year, I had a look and um, it was a perfect vehicle for us yeah. to bring into Australia and to use. So it's a uh, model Y size. So Tesla model Y size, right? Price is going to be approximately. <laughs> Around fifty thousand dollars introductory price. We're still finalising pricing and specs, but it literally arrived off the boat a day ago, and uh, we were playing with the console at eleven o'clock at night. So we're just getting through the usability. So, so the price could be similar to the Ado Three, but it's a bigger car. Than the Ado 3. Oh, yeah. I can already see that it's bigger. So. So that could give you an opportunity to kind of undercut some of the established players, would you say? <laughs> yes. Um, when I did the price modelling, all, all yep. of that went into the picture. Yeah. The big picture. So what um, range have you got? Uh, the top spec is 489 kilometres, yep. and the uh, the lower spec is just under 400. And what are the battery sizes? Uh, battery so sizes. So. I don't know if you guys can hear all the noise here. Trying to, yeah. So the lower spec uh, battery is 50 uh, kilowatt hours, yeah. up to 86 kilowatt hours. Whoa, that's a big battery. Yeah. 86 kilowatt hour battery, okay. Yeah. That's nice. And tell us any other info about the car we can... Um, it's, uh, it's noticeably uh, bigger in, in the back, so it, it suits uh, you know, uh, rideshare. Uh, larger families, yep. um, and in its base trim, it's a luxurious vehicle. Um, it has a binnacle in front and also the center, so you've got the screen in front of you as you're driving, so that's to get yep. your eyes off the, uh, the steering wheel. Yep. So, um, look, I encourage everyone to come and have a look and uh, register online as well. So, Sky, so, Skywell, they're an electric car company in China that I've actually made a few videos on Skywell. So they've been around, they're not a new company, they've been around for quite a while. Can you tell us a little bit about Skywell? Yeah, so Skywell is actually a technology company. Yeah. Um, there's a good chance that this LCD screen you've got at home is actually made by Skywell and rebranded. Yeah. Um, so the technology company making cars. Um, they've been around for a number of years. Um, they're a very large organisation. So um, when I went to visit them, there was the BYD plant over here and Skywell plant over here. So uh, they're a large organisation. So what's the warranty going to be? Um, initially, off the top of my head, um, you're quoting me something I'm, 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 I need to figure out. Yeah. But um, I'm thinking it's around eight years for the battery yeah. and, and five years for, for the body. Hey, I'm doing one now. Oh. Yeah, mate, just tell me a little bit about the 
the inside? Um, large touch screen. Yeah, what size is that screen? I believe it's a 12.4. Okay. Uh, it will be touch screen. We're still playing. The resolution it. looks good. The resolution's really nice. Because they, they make LCD screens as well, right? Yeah, so that's yeah. one of their... If they've got fingers and lots of pies, but LCD yep. screens are one of their big ones. So, so in terms of features, do you, do you guys... Pre-production, we're yep. still working with that as far as what the final specifications yep. will be. Yep. But um, it won't be any of the stage. It'll yep. have the nice fruit depending on the model that you want. Yeah, okay. And that's, that's our aim. Okay. First family SUV size at a reasonable price, but okay. with what people are expecting. Okay. So here you've got a... Looks like that looks like maybe a twelve inch digital yeah. screen. So twelve inch yeah. digital multifunction. Um, it's nicely integrated into the dash too. Yeah, looks good. it's it's. Yeah. I, I found when we've done a quick test drive, it's not affected by glare. Okay. Which some yeah. of the larger screens, screens can are. Be, yeah. Because uh, it, yeah, it's, it's in nice and deep, but nice tactile feel to the wheels. Plenty of movement. Um, nicely appointed. We still have switches. Yep rather than uh, an intuitive part. Do you know when um, when people can actually start ordering? They can order now. Oh, now. They oh, can whereabouts? Order. It's a no deposit pre-order. How do they order? Uh, via the website. Okay. Go to the model tab, okay. select the ET5, okay. and it comes up with no deposit pre-order. Put their name down. Once we know the specifications, we'll be in touch and say, this is what it is, yep. this is what they are, uh, yep. and they'll be first to know. And you think about... October. Show special that we have here at the show is we're looking at the mid spec and we're going to market that on a first come, first serve first basis at forty nine nine ninety yep. drive away. Yeah, I'll drive away. Drive away. Wow. Uh, we'll honour that price all the way through okay. the delivery if they decide that they do want to proceed. Yep. Uh, fairly simple. Once we know the specs, we'll talk to you. This is what it is. These you, are the prices that 49 is locked in, though. Do you know the battery size of that 49? Uh, around 74 kilowatts. Oh, big. Okay. So it will be big. That'll give you around a 400 kilometer range. Okay. Okay. Which is what people, what yeah. I think is for this size vehicle and that, yeah. there will be a battery size above that, okay. and a battery size below that, and okay. specifications that match. Those prices we don't know yet because we haven't finished finalizing okay. everything. Okay. But yep. uh, it's very exciting. It's a big car, and I, don't, I think we've got the price point. The right price. Yeah, so. I, I agree. What's what's the battery? Do you know what chemistry it is? Uh, lithium ion. Uh, phosphate or or. I believe it's lithium ion phosphate. Yeah. Uh, Manufacturer I, is it TATL or? They work in conjunction with them, so. Yeah. Again, probably, probably. these are the yeah. the little things. Everyone's in everyone's pocket. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah. I don't want to be uh, misleading. Yeah. Uh, I do want to give you the accurate information, but I yeah. do need to look into it a little bit further. Yeah. Because. As we said, this only arrived yesterday. So this will be the cheapest EV in Australia, this size. Yes. Do you know exactly the dimensions? Uh, the dimensions I've got is uh, just on 4.8 long, 2.4 wide, and the height is around 1800. So 4.8 meters long, slightly longer than a Tesla Model Y. Slightly longer, and yeah. we found that in the internal cabin yep. rather than just a boot area. Okay. By doing the traditional SUV shape without the low back, yeah. we've had okay. people six foot yep. six in the back and they're not touching the roof. Okay. Hey guys, I'm just getting into the Skywell ET5. New car coming to Australia. You can order this now. Cheapest car in Australia in this size, 4.8 meters. So let's have a look at, let's have a look at how big the actual interior is. See if I can fit in there, see how much space it's got. Oh, okay, so that's more space in the back seat than a BMW X5 in terms of my feet to the seat. And you can, that seat in front is definitely far, fairly far back. I didn't realize this roof, is this a panoramic? Is, is, is the car coming with this panoramic yes. roof? Yes. Wow. And you can, can you open, you can open this? Yep. Even has a sunshade, wow. Does have the sunshade and confirming. It makes it feel very airy in here. That is all the way back. Okay, that seat is all the way back. Wow. That's your minimum. Okay. <laughs> all right.
Hey guys, how you going? Good. You got plenty of space in the front there? Your knees? It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't go back further. Just as far as it yeah, goes. Yeah, as far as it goes. And I've still got heaps of room.